this is Vamsi. I'm a business intelligence consultant. Through this video, I would like to introduce Talon. Talon is an open source data integration tool. Probably it is one of the fastest emerging open source tools in the market today. Data integration is part of extract transformation and loading of data into the target system. Today, I'll walk you through a job design in Talon. I'll show an example and explain how it is being developed. I used few transformations to load citywide sales in the United States into the target table. Now let's get into the Talent Open Studio and move on. This is how it looks like when you open Talent for the first time. So click on metadata, right click on the DB connections and say create connection. So when you say create connection, it looks like this. Give a, give a DB connection name of your interest and say next. Pro select the db type for the username and password for the server name port name and the data source name and the schema name and check the connection is successful right click on the connected data source and say retrieve schema check the table option alone and say next it will show all the tables in the database select the tables you like and say next and finish it will dump all the table structures into the talents talent tables schema. We are ready with the source tables. In the same fashion, connect to the target target database and we can retrieve the table schema from here too. Now we need to create a job. So we can create our own folders. Create folder using create folder option. We have created a folder and right click on the folder and say create job and I created a job it's pretty straightforward so double click on the job to open it so this is the job I created just drag and drop the source tables into the empty job window so drag the fact internet sales it will ask which component to select select the SQL input component so this is how I got these two objects into the talent job window and here I have used conversion transformation conversion transformation is used to convert database specific data types into Java data types so I used conversion transformation to convert money data type of SQL server to big decimal data type in Talon. So if you look at the backend table structure of fact internet sales, sales amount is, is of money data type which is not recognized in Talent. So for that purpose I use T conversion and from the source we can drag and drop columns of our interest into the intermediate target so I drag customer key and the sales amount into the intermediate target and I have changed the database type to big decimal and click OK. Next move on to the next transformation called tmap. We can find process this transformation on the processing folder here it is tree convert type and tmap just drag the tmap from processing folder to the job window using tmap we can join one or more tables to one or more intermediate destination tables so you are joining two tables out here to the tmap double click on the tmap we can see the both the tables are here so we are joining both the tables or customer key so just drag and drop customer key from table 1 to table 2 and create a intermediate destination table by using this option add table option so when you click on add table option it will ask for a table name give a table name and say ok so this is how the intermediate table looks like drag the columns of our interest here I am dragging sales amount from the table 1 and geographic key from the table 2 into the intermediate target There's a, there are other options in the tmap 
I mean we can create filters and we can create filter rejected rows and we can also create tables using uh, join rejected rows and we can create intermediate variables to enable uh, pass through functions so this I will be explaining in the later videos in the next step I am going to join geography dimension to the results of tmap2 so drag one more tmap transformation into the job window and drag geography dimension from the table schema source table schema join the tmap2 to tmap1 and geography2 to, to the tmap1 double click and here we will find both the tables join table 1 to table 2 on geography key just drag and drop geography key on the onto the table 2 and uh, create a new intermediate table and drag the columns of our interest into the target so here I have dragged sales amount, geography key, city and country the next transformation is aggregation so drag the aggregate row and place it in the, in the job window so aggregation transformation contains two sections one is a group by section the other one is operation section city and country as my group by columns and for operations I have created three new columns called total sales, max sales and min sales we can add new columns by clicking here by clicking the add button over here and provide a name data type and length and position so in this fashion I have created three new columns and I have selected the functions to choose that measure column over here and I, I want to ignore nulls if there are any in the measure column so I have selected these options next is t log row if you want to display results at runtime say like I am running this job and I, I want to display the results at runtime instead of writing them to the backend database table I can always use t log row which is under log and rs folder in the palette so just drag and drop tlog row and it is here and just join this and sync column I want to filter the intermediate records so uh, I have dragged I have used tfilter row for this purpose connect the tlog output to the filter and I am filtering records over country and I am placing the condition filter condition as US next transformation is sort so I dragged sort from the processing folder to the job window and I am sorting by city so, so instead of going for a target database I went for a lock so if you want to route the data into a target table you can always do that so retrieve the so I'm just showing an example so for the target table choose this option SQL output and connect the output link from sort row to that and sync columns and we have different options in uh, when we use a SQL output component so that I'll explain in the later videos now the the, the job is completed and it is ready to run so click on the run run current job option over here so the job is running so here if you observe here it is writing the t log row will write the log output over here 